John Jones is a world champion and what he's accomplished in such a short amount of time. The, the caliber of fighters that he's beat at such a young age is phenomenal. Chael Sonnen has been around for a long time. He's fought all the best fighters in the world and he has dealt with a lot of controversy outside and inside the octagon. He's got what I want. I want what he's got. That creates a fight. What's up, man? How's it going? Awesome. I like that look, How's man. How's it going, I like it. Yeah, mix it up. Here, nice and tight. Yeah. Chael Sonnen said a lot of things about John Jones, and John took him personal. So there's a lot of animosity between these two. Holy Starts working for the armbar, ends up catching him and, and finishing the fight in the first round with an armbar. Do it. Oh. And there, Zach was waiting with a big right hand. Oh. Might have been one of the fastest knockout in tough history. I don't know. One punch, one KO. Pretty nice. You know, it's really hard to tell in the first fight how a guy's really gonna do when he gets into this competition. This guy's all over the place. He doesn't know if he wants to look good for the cameras. He don't know if he wants to. Oh, yeah, look at Shadow box for the camera. He's ready. Dude. Oh, yeah. the you got that camera, too. <laughs> got camera one, camera two. <laughs> I mean, who beats a guy named Thor? Fight back! I'm gonna stop it! Fight back! Is he my first? That guy's gone. Yeah, for sure. Of course, he's your teammate. And what are you gonna do? Go back and see him and be like, oh, I didn't want you for, you know. That'd be weird. That'd be weird for the next 10 years of your career. <laughs> You got it ready? Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I don't know. Did you just say, are you guys ready? Is that what he yelled? Are you guys ready? Is that what he said? Boy! The double-fisted, goofy shots that he was throwing, I mean, th that's not the way to do it. Josh, don't waste your energy with that. Put some leverage into your punches and finish the fight. Chael's liking this guy. Chael hasn't left his seat all day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, pilot ticket. I think Chael was really impressed with Josh, so maybe I might switch it up and pick Chael's favorite pick. He's always wanted to be in the, in the ultimate fighter. He's nine and two and he's divorced with two kids, that's oh, it. Right. So he's used to fighting this thing. So he was married, he's used to fighting, all right. No, we get it. Drug this guy to the ground, kept him there, uh, and put him away in the first round. Oh, man, you gotta get out of here! All right, that's it. And to just get down with it like that, nice and clean. Feels good. Andy ends, uh, I think he's a very good fighter. The problem is he ran into a hammer known as Uriah Hall. We all, I think, me and the two coaches walked away from that fight thinking this is the guy to beat. He's got it. Nighty night. He's punching, he's punching. Oh, he's out. I'll shut up. Her being the best. Yeah. Gilbert is such a physical specimen. When he found the head and arm triangle choke, he attacked it full bore, locked it off with those big biceps around him and uh, forced the tap out. This was a, a very quick fight. Colin didn't waste a whole lot of time. He got it down to the ground. He found a rear naked choke and he finished it. Your winner by submission victory, moving in the house, Colin Hart. Yeah. Uriah Hall. I was like, oh, I want to be on Jones' team because I like Jones and I like the way he fights, but I believe, you know, things happen for a reason. Josh. Gentlemen, welcome to the Ultimate Fighter. Yeah, great job, great job. Awesome job today, man.
We've been saying little things here and there. How you know conditioning here, yada yada. Okay. This, this and that, and then, then every e time you get, every and you, every yeah. conditioning round or workout we did, I've been right on the mark. I'm not gonna kill myself or show too much doing the round. Which is great. Hey, listen. Ultimately, at the end of the day, man, you're not here for any other fighter. Mm -mm. You're not here for anything, right? But to become the ultimate fighter, right? I believe you, and that's why I stuck with you. So from what I'm hearing is, is that John Jones's team wasn't too crazy about this matchup, uh, that, which isn't a shocker. as much of a knockout as you will ever see. He was out. I mean, I came here when I was 13, and home was Jamaica. So for me, coming in, like, not knowing what the hell is going on, it was just like, who the hell are you, you know? And I was made fun of, called names and all that stuff. Like, anything I would say was, like, funny, and I'm like, what? A particular time in, like, junior high school, this kid just picked on me for no reason. And he just pretty much called, w walked up to me and said, you're stupid, right? And he smacked the daylights out of me. He slapped me so hard, I really saw a light. And on top of that, you know, there were a lot of kids on the bus. For Uriah, it's no secret. Uriah is the best athlete here. He outworks everybody, and he's just got more talent than everybody. Now, he can work against himself. Let's go, man. I'm good, man. I really let the situation cool down. There's no situation. No, no, no. I feel what you're saying, man. I'm done, personally. All right, whatever. All right. And, uh, you know, I talked to Randy Couture about it. And Randy said that the one thing that he learned is that he could never defeat it. He could never defeat the, uh, the second guessing or, or, or the negative voice in his head. And that he just learned, I just got to learn to uh, compete with it. Hey. Every season you get guys that you look at and this guy could be pretty good. And if I had to sit here and pick a guy right now, Uriah Hall, I would say. When I watch this guy, I go, where the hell has this guy been and why have we never heard of him? Circle! More, come Circle. more! More after. Oh. I've ever seen in the fight business, let alone on the Ultimate Fighter. It's one of those ones you want to celebrate, but you don't because yeah, you know. Yeah, it's, you know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we know who's winning the twenty-five thousand dollars this year. Uh, for the knockout. You guys, you guys better start going for fight and submission or something. Why you hit me in the face like that? What's up, man? I'm coming. Right. I'm coming in there. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm cool. I'm you cool. Good? Yeah, apparently it was really good kick. Sorry, man. Don't be sorry. You did what you're supposed to. I think I gave you twenty-five thousand, though. All right, hey. Split it. Split it's, 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 it's nothing compared to health, all right? That's yeah. First. No, I, I'm healthy. Everything's fine. That's good, man. I'm glad you're all right, bro. Yeah. I was wishing you had like a swelled up eye or something. Yo, yo, you don't want no more. Knock you on the floor. What they call me, Jagator. I fillets him with the rap that I'm saying. And now he over there dancing like he gaying. But I ain't just <laughs> tripping, I'm just saying. I told y'all about with dreads, uh. Cause I will lay you right on your head, uh. And you can run and call the whole fed. Cause get the whole team, but my team is right. You know. So the power went off in the middle of the night, so a couple of my teammates thought it was a good idea to pull a little prank on, on Team Jones. Back in your bed. And then we all ran like little girls down the stairs, and uh, Uriah tripped and I tripped and fell on top of him. And, <laughs> The prank was just horrible, horrible. It just it didn't go very well at all. Two things. Don't on my food. Don't on you while I'm sleeping. <laughs> don't with my food. And don't with my nap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna go to bed. Alright, you guys have a good night. Thank you. 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 Thank
And this, is, and this means it sounds like. Yeah. And this means duh. Yeah. And, yeah, this, and this, means, means, this means hold. And this means, means like, short and, word. And this like means uh, put clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love to do, and obviously I want to be able to do it well and be in the UFC. Obviously, it's going to change my financial situation, and I'm going to be able to quit my job and, and train full time, and, and that's what I want to do, that's the ultimate goal. This team is coached by the reflection of perfection. We're demanding all of your attention. And John Jones, I want to know what you're going to do when you know who. How you going to deal with the team of steel and how will you react when I put my boys on the attack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Jamie will tell you. Bubba's, uh, he's a, a vet and he's seen pretty much everything. Had a lot of fights, a lot of wins. Uh, I just hope he's not sleeping on Kelvin because he, he will surprise you. Ultimately, Kelvin found his back, sunk in a very deep choke, and by now, they're so slippery and they're so sweaty, it's going to be very hard for Bubba to get out. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to hear all your faith and that you won, and I can't wait to meet you, really, really. Yeah, definitely, I can't wait to... to... <laughs> <laughs> we love you! Final season, submission season, and round up? <laughs> Damn, what's bad? I'm on top of the world, man. <laughs> How's everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? The question isn't whether I can bowl. The question is whether can Coach Jones bowl better than I can bowl. I'm the two. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I believe it's going to be a hell of a fight. I know Josh is probably picked to be one of their toughest guys over on Team Jones, and Thor, he's a stud. Josh capitalized, it was a great shot. You know, right now we're at Hooters, you know, we're having a little relaxed time and, uh, you know, enjoying the facility. You know, next thing I know, I look over my shoulder and I see Gilbert Smith in women's clothing. Get over here. Uriah has made the decision to ignore us and to alienate himself. I think Uriah's attitude is going to get worse. It's been getting worse. He's been fighting more with his own team. He's a very self-righteous person, and he's a jerk. Guys, awesome practice. I just want to remind you guys, you are awesome. You are awesome. And, and it's time for you to get what you deserve. The first two are here. One, if he's too far away, I can scoop and go port like. Boom. If he's too far away, scoop. Perfect. So after you hit that one, you can step out here, psychic, boom. 25 and a half. Thank you. Jimbo Slice. Jimmy, I believe, is so one-dimensional that no matter who fights him, it's going to be a tough fight just because you're fighting off a takedown the whole time. Clint, did you use a bowl today that had my name on it with a note from Luke? Luke alleges he cleaned a bowl and left it there for me. It was on top of a pad. A bowl. And if you use that bowl, I'm going to fight you today. <laughs> Jimmy is very unreadable. A lot of people don't get along with him. They say he's a prick, but, I mean... I love his 
his sense of humor, his personality. Now me and Clint are gonna get in a fight today because you. <laughs> Tell him that that doesn't hurt. He, he's not hurting you. He's not hurting you. Stop, 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 stop. stop. starts teeing off with punches. Clint has no choice but to use those hands to protect. Stop, 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 stop. Opens himself up for a choke, and that was that was the end of the fight. Destiny, bro. I'm not yet putting all my ducks in a bag. Never mind. My eggs in a basket until uh, you're not counting your chickens for your eggs hit. There you go. Wow. <laughs> that's that's me. I'm not putting my ducks in the basket when the <laughs> eggs ain't hit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Welcome to Dig This and the Coaches Challenge, which is my favorite part of the season. This is the day that all the pressure is on the coaches, and you guys get to kick back and relax. Hey, John, you know they, they said go, right? You can start the competition. Hey, John, is that phone working? Somebody let him know that we've begun oh, yeah. the competition. Oh, yeah, you're all right, Jeff. Come right over there? Oh, all right, Let's brother. Help out. Oh, and it's steady. Where's the red? No. Oh, John, the idea is to, to pick the tire up. So you want to, you want to, you want to, you want to pick, I'm trying to help. See so if you'll just, if you'll pick the tire up, and he comes back and literally sets that thing right on top, builds the pyramid, shoots down, and he's gonna win the competition. Todd the Jones, bringing it on home. Oh, he got it! Holy <laughs> Oh my God! Sorry, guys. Oh, ah, yeah. oh my God, that was so close! the coach's challenge, he wins the $10,000, and his whole team wins $1,500 each. Could go either way. Both those guys are going in there to pretty much win or die. That's how I look at it for them, because they both got a second shot, and you get a second shot at this, you can't f*** up. That's it. Woo! Yeah. 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 What? He didn't answer the round? Yeah. Back in, baby! He quit? Back in! He quit? Good job, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's crazy. Bubba just dominated him, took him down, passed his guard, you know, just controlled the whole second round to the point where Kevin gave up. I could not believe he gave up. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen that in a fight. No more. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Miss Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Till calls me up one day and he's like, I got a guy here that really likes you and we really need to motivate him and I talked to him and I said if he beat uh, you know his opponent I would come down and teach them for the day and so he won and I'm here nice. you know she taught some some judo I don't really do judo but it was, it was pretty awesome you know getting handled by her that's 186 to me there we go. Hey. Oh, oh, sorry <laughs> we're not gonna get this right I got it I'm sorry oh. yes nice, guys. Yeah. Calvin jumps on top of him and just finishes the fight. I mean, just a brutal, vicious knockout. Yes! Oh! 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 Mike, you're looking lean, man. Yeah, I'm trying to stay lean. You know, when you're 40, it's rough. Gain weight by looking at food. That third round is all about how bad do you want this? Dylan came in in that third round and said, I'm the guy that wants to go on and win this competition and get into the UFC. And he finished Luke, a guy who I honestly thought was going to win this fight. One day when you're champ of the world, you want to remember that law. And that's just how it is in this business. You know, we have to learn from my experience. I appreciate it, Never get discouraged. Never discouraged. Never have a wise word for us. A bigger name in the sport. Exactly, right? Although he's definitely a tough fight, he's not an easy fight at all. You know, he's a specialist, an excellent grappler, probably the best grappler that's here. 
Uh, I, I think that I'm also a talented grappler, and I think that I also have knockout power, which will hopefully be the difference in our fight. Dropping those double punches, hitting them. Not a move that I would recommend, but for some reason, uh, it works when he does it. He broke Jimmy and Jimmy quit. I, I didn't see that happening. I think Josh is for real. You look at a guy like Anderson Silva, you know, people defeat themselves before they go in the room because like, holy <laughs> what is he gonna do to me? <laughs> and I guess they have the same thought, like, man, what am I gonna do to them? Uriah is the best athlete in the field and he's the hardest worker. To be a world champion, you only need one of those two things. You either need to be the toughest or you need to be the most talented. He's bull. When we did the weigh-in, you know, his body language that he displayed kind of gave me a sour taste in my mouth. Bubba kind of put his hands down like this and uh, had a real submissive body language. And uh, that's not good. Let's do it. Let's go, stop. You're, you're a contender, Uriah, for the, for the title. I'll, I'll tell you now, I spent five years in that weight class. You're a contender. Me or Bubba don't know what punch he got hit with. You don't even want to clap, you feel bad clapping. It's just, it, it's, it's vicious, it's quick, it's nasty. This guy is the nastiest guy in Ultimate Fighter history. I'm like that already. All right, buddy. All right, man. Nice. Good luck. Thanks, Ray. Hey, stay black. I ain't got no choice. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jones, that does fit you pretty good. We've also had a lot of fun trying on the Harley Davidson clothing line. You know, all the different stuff they have between the jackets and the shirts and the hats and the helmets. Hey, you look smooth in there. Hey, you look kind of smooth, too. Oh, <laughs> thank you. You in my body. That's right. To be in the semifinals, it's pretty surreal. I do try to block all the, all the pressure out and um, just go out there and have fun. I'm excited to be here, having this opportunity to make my dreams come true. Kevin, take his back. Take his yeah. back, Kevin. He basically came out, got him to the ground, had him in control the whole time, was hitting him with punches, dropping elbows, and then finally took his back and easily rear naked choked him. Don't forget what you can do well. And for a long time, you know, I feel like I held myself back as a fighter, and now I feel like it's my time to shine. From the bottom, holy this guy. He basically finishes Dylan from the bottom. This kid is the nastiest, deadliest, meanest kid that we have ever seen in the history of Duff. That's it, that's it. Definitely uh, wouldn't call each other a friend, but uh, we're professionals and he's a guy that I do respect. Do I want to say I respect you? I don't know if I want to say I respect Chell, but I don't dislike him, I'll say that. Square off, boys. Uriah Hall, Uriah Hall, Uriah Hall. Kelvin has been the dark horse in this thing. He does have that one punch knockout, and he can dominate guys on the ground. So I can't tell you the last time that I've been this excited for the finale. Look, John Jones is great, and I may go down. I don't know how this is going to end, but I promise you if I go down, I will go like a gangster, and I will be firing the entire time. My name is on the marquee. I'm a bigger draw than Rocky. I'm soon to be champ, and they call me Chael P. For the winner by split decision, and now the Ultimate Fighter season. 17 winner, Kelvin Castella! Both of you give me your instructions. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my commands at all times. Touch gloves if you like. Let's fight. Oh, Chelsea swarming on is Jones. 
big knee. Looking to finish this fight early. Oh, all shot. over him right here in the first round. And it is all over! John Jones has finished Chael Sonnen! The undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Bones Jones! John Jones has a broken foot, ladies and gentlemen, and it's pretty bad, and he just realized it. When, did, when do you think that happened? I don't know, but when my adrenaline calms down, I'm going to be in some pain tonight.